So today we're going to talk about the absolute best beard oil on the market today. What is it? Well, of course, it's the one with my picture on it that I'm going to give you a discount code for. Make sure you use that so I'll get credit for. I'm just kidding. I really don't think there is such thing, at least in today's market, of the best beard oil. I don't think we can say that because there's so much competition and what goes into your beard oil is like some carrier oils. And we've got lots of different carrier oils that uh, kind of serve the same purpose with the same amount of um, fatty acids and those kind of things on it. So there's all kinds of options for you. I don't really think we can say anything is the best uh, for beard oil because there's so many options. I don't even think we can say something is the best for you or, or the best for me, works best for me. Because how do you know works best for me? You start talking about how soft your beard is. It's so subjective, right? The things that could go into that are uh, like what kind of mood you're in that day and the humidity in your beard and the, the humidity in your hand, um, uh, your your health, uh, just, just a ton of things. There's biases that go into it. Sometimes we really like a beard oil because maybe we we like the, the branding. We like the way the, the uh, things look. We like the theme of the company. Um, it just maybe is sentimental, right? It throws us back to a certain time or a certain memory uh, on that. Um, maybe we just really connect with the owner. So there's all kinds of biases that go into trying to think what's best at least with the beard oil, because there's so many options. Uh, even now, I think maybe with scents, like you like a certain company scents better uh, overall. Uh, I think that's probably a thing. Um, but saying any one particular beard oil works best for you, I don't think really it's going to hold up today. I think that's probably the same thing with some other beard products. In fact, most beard products, your butters, your balms, um, trimmers. I'm starting to actually uh, use a lot of different trimmers now, uh, doing some work behind some, behind the scenes for uh, for a company. And just there's a lot of different things on the market that will all do the same thing. It just kind of depends on what you get used to. Um, maybe a little bit different when it comes to your combs and brushes and that kind of stuff. There's a lot of different brushes out there, but uh, maybe not quite as many for your combs because it, tend be, it tends to be a how thick your beard is kind of idea, how long your beard is, some of that stuff. Anyway, I just had some of that stuff on my mind for today and just wanted to talk about the fact that I don't think that we can say there's any such thing as the best beard oil. You may totally disagree. And here's where the fun part comes in. I want you to chime in down below, um, especially if you've been doing this for a long time like me. I've been doing this for five years and tried thousands, literally over a thousand uh, different beard oils. I can't say that one's any better than others because tastes change too over time. What you liked this year, you go back and try it, you know, and stuff I, I liked three years ago. I may not like it quite as much anymore because things keep evolving. There's new things comes on the market all the time. But anyway, a fun little video. I had that on my mind. I wanted to go over with you. Let me know your thoughts below. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.